I shall not be greatly moved. My soul waits silently for God alone, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. You may be seated. You know what went into preparing this message this morning, for this morning. Though it be brief, Heavenly Father, it comes from meditation with you and counsel with you and your word. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to diminish me and put forth more of you as I bring forth this message. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to richly bless this congregation. Now I ask, Heavenly Father, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O God, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. In keeping with our theme, 2015, a year of expectancy, I've chosen as a sermon title this morning, a calm resolve to let God do what God will do. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Dr. Charles Stanley of In Touch Ministries offers a study guide entitled 30 Life Principles. Among those principles are these following eight that I have extracted from the 30, feeling that they are most appro appropriate for our situation here at Asbury. Principle number one, God, God does not require us to understand his will. Just obey it, mm -hmm. even if it seems unreasonable. <clears throat> number two, the dark moments of our life will only last so long as it is necessary for God to accomplish his purpose for us. Three, Fight all your battles on your knees, and you will win every time. Mm. Yeah. Four, God assumes full responsibility for our needs when we obey him. Five, God acts on our behalf of those who wait on him. Six, to live the Christian life is to allow Jesus to live his life in and through us. Mm -hmm. Seven, no Christian has ever been called to go it alone in his or her walk of faith. And eight, we learn more in our valley experiences than on our mountaintops. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, what I challenge of you this morning, this first Sunday, in this new year of 2015, in this season of transition in which we now find ourselves. Trust God and expect great things from Him. Mm -hmm. We need to remember that we surrender our lives to God, not a preacher. The preacher was just the means by which we heard the word of God mm -hmm. and, its call, and its call on our lives. It continues as we learn more about Jesus and acceptance of his only son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and confess that we are sinners in need of a Savior. His shed blood has redeemed us, and we repent by that simple act we are saved. Many of you know that Moses already, but sometimes we get, up, get caught up in the politics of, of church life. Mm -hmm. We get turned around mm -hmm. thinking that, uh, you know, that the order of worship or uh, a certain way of uh, presenting a message is all written in stone. Mm -hmm. All is required of us is to bring the word forth and make Jesus the center of that message. And we will be all right. I accept the fact that I'm not a great preacher. 
but I love the Lord with all my heart, soul, mind, and body. And I just want you to know this morning that serving God requires that we learn about all aspects of the life of Jesus because he is the one we should strive to imitate. All we need to know about serving God, as far as I'm concerned, is it found in the first four books of the New Testament, the Gospels. They tell us all about Jesus' life, his ministry, uh, what he thought about and felt about certain things, and the new commandment that he gave us, that we could love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and our neighbor as ourselves. Mm -hmm. On those very words, hence all of the gospel, that we would be obedient to the will of God in our lives, that we would allow Jesus to lead and guide us, that we would not allow the demons of discouragement, depression, despondency, all those doubt, all those demons, with the, starting with the letter D, that sometimes steal, we allow to steal our joy. Right. We don't want our joy stolen in the year of 2015. Yes. We want to keep our joy. We want to continue to love and be in fellowship with one another in this body of Christ known as Asbury United Methodist Church. We want to, we want to continue to accept one another as children of God. Accept one another as, a, as an unperfect work sometimes. That we have to allow Jesus to continue to mold us. Some of us have been on this journey longer. So we've learned patience. We've learned uh, tolerance. We've learned to love those that are not so easy to love. We've learned to appreciate our differences. We have learned to work with those differences. Because God has a purpose for each and every one of us in the body of Christ. He asks that we share our gifts and graces to his glory. Not to our own personal glory but to the, unto the glory of God. Amen. And so we, uh, as we were touring this uh, faith walk, I would repeat again that we learn to love one another, yeah. we respect one another's diversities, and in our Christian world we learn to use our grace, gifts and graces, in concert with one another, so that we are a unified body in Christ. During this time of transition, I ask that you pray for the district superintendent and others as they seek a new shepherd for this flock known as Ashbury. Pray for them and with our SPRC as they make known the needs of the congregation to the Baltimore Washington Conference. Reverend Dr. Burl and Whipple has taught us to strive for excellence in ministry. Amen. Ministry is an individual as well as, a, as well as a collective response to the word of God in our lives. We do not wish to go any way but forward. Pastor Whipple last week preached about leaving a situation better than we found it. Yeah. In no way do we want to go backward. Mm -hmm. We want to do everything we lay our hands to do in excellence. Mm -hmm. We will, we must continue to strive to be more like Christ mm -hmm. as we uplift humankind, mm -hmm. assist in bringing justice to the afflicted, and make known Christ's salvation to all. This is our continued vision here at Asbury United Methodist Church. And may God bless each and every one. Amen.